first, good to see you. And second, the business seems to be pretty strong. So, Jim and David, look, it's great to be with you, but especially it's been great to be with you after the weekend we just had. Uh, Thursday to Sunday, we just blew all of the post-pandemic records. Seven million people came to our theaters between Thursday and Sunday, mostly to watch the new Spider-Man No Way Home movie. These were records. We set a new record Thursday, a new record again on Friday, a new record again on Saturday. Uh, just to put 7 million guests in a weekend in perspective, we didn't do 7 million tickets in the entire first quarter of 2021. And that tells me that movie, fit, movie going at cinemas is back. Now, Adam, uh, you know, one thing is uh, certain. You have survived incredibly well. Can you tell me what your competitors are doing right here? <laughs> Well, look, my job's not to run my competitors, it's to run AMC. And what we did, uh, starting in April of 2020, when the pandemic forced us to close all thousand of our theaters worldwide in a week, and we lost 99.9% .9 of our revenues in a week, uh, we started raising money. And between equity that we raised and debt that we raised and concessions that we got, from our lenders and our landlords and even our employees sacrificed. I furloughed myself back in 2020. Uh, AMC raised more than $5 billion. Uh, and it was the raising of that cash that put us in a position to weather this horrible pandemic. We did end the second quarter of this year with $2 billion in cash. That's the biggest war chest that AMC has ever had in our 101 year history. Now, I, I don't want to uh, leave some of our more critical viewers uh, hanging. It is true that you and your family have sold a great deal of stock at higher levels. Uh, but also, I think that you made that very clear that you would do that. Can you just go over what you did uh, and what else you have? Sure, I'm, I'm happy to because I think I've been more transparent with the market on this subject than just about any human being alive. Uh, when I haven't sold an AMC share in the six years that I've run the company, uh, even though it's more than 60% of my annual compensation, I did say back in August, when I didn't have to legally, that I was approaching my 67th birthday, I hate to admit it, but it's true, uh, in September. Uh, and prudent estate planning means I need to diversify my assets a little bit. But I gave the market months and months of notice. I told people I was going to be selling the stock at the end of the year. I put it in a 10 v 5 one plan, which means that all the trading decisions were taken out of my hands. I said I would spread the sales over several months so no one could accuse me of gaming the market. I actually sold some shares at prices below where it's trading right now this morning. But look, the important thing is uh, when this is all done, I'm still going to own or have been granted uh, more than 2 million AMC shares. I have an enormous stake in this company's future. I am very committed to leading this company. I'm very committed to its future. And I actually think that future is quite bright. Yeah, all right. Well, tell me why you believe it's quite bright, uh, Adam, because you know there are plenty who believe you've done a great job stewarding this company through an unprecedented period. And to, and, and to your point, have raised sufficient funds to be able to navigate through it. But they still wonder about how profitable this company can ever be, given your debt load, given how many shares Additionally, you have outstanding at this point as well on a per share basis, certainly. And just, you know, what seems to be, at least broadly speaking, uh, an unwillingness of some people to go to the movies in a regular way, pandemic or no. Well, David, look, those are all very good questions. But on this unwillingness to go to the movies, seven million people went this weekend. Uh, and it was a record for us. And it was a record on Thursday. It was a record on Friday again. We broke the Thursday record. On Saturday, we broke the Friday record. It turns out Spider-Man No Way Home has the third biggest opening weekend in the history of cinema. They're going to theaters. Now, what we need for AMC to come back as the AMC that we all knew pre-pandemic, we need two things. Number one, we need to get through the pandemic. Uh, and we are making good progress. 70% of the U.S. population has had at least one vaccination so far. Uh, beyond that, though, we need new movies to be released. And what this weekend proves 
is that when Hollywood gives us good movies, we fill our theaters. Right. And what we haven't had since March of 2020 is a lot of movies. But in this October, when four different movies led the way in October, we had very strong attendance. In December, when there are lots of new movies out, we're doing fine. When we look at the movies that are coming in 2022, we think that the industry-wide box office in 2022 will double the industry box office of 2021. Now, look, nobody knows for sure. No one has a perfect crystal ball. But there sure are a lot of big movies coming out. That's one reason why I'm bullish. The second reason why I'm bullish, and here's the mistake that I think a lot of analysts are making. They're just looking at what AMC was as a company pre-pandemic. And assuming the best thing that we can do is bring that company back. Uh, we're going to do much more of that than that at AMC. We intend to transform our company. We intend to do more than just bring back the old AMC. Right. So we've already announced, for example, dabbling with cryptocurrency. We've already re announced our participation with three NFTs, which I think will have a distribution of about 700,000 or so NFTs. We've announced we're going into the $6 billion home popcorn market. And those are just some of the ideas that we have. There are a lot more in the works. Because okay. we know all right, that Adam. this company will be bigger. I, I, I get all that. Um, but, you know, when you say you, the old AMC, I, I, the one thing you probably don't want is the old multiple. I mean, you've been a huge beneficiary here of this meme craze. We've talked about it throughout much of this year, which has resulted in, well, you haven't even been making money, but an incredible multiple even on your out years when you are going to make money. Uh, the world you're describing would bring back an old multiple to a company that was profitable, but certainly, you know, was valued at single digits in terms of a multiple to its earnings. And as I just said, we've got to do much more as a company than just bring back the old AMC. Fortunately, our shareholders armed us with a $2 billion war chest to go out and do that. You know, there is M&A opportunity out there for AMC, both in the movie theater industry and outside the movie theater industry. And we have the cash reserves to be able to participate in that activity. But I know that like you live and die in our share price. That's your job. My job is to run the company and to restore the health of this company that was strong and viable pre-pandemic, that got put on its knees early in the pandemic. We've stood up tall, we're rising to the challenge, and I expect that the same management team that got this company through against all odds in the last two years is going to be very seriously focused on transforming this company and making an exciting prospect in 2022 and 2023, 2024, and beyond. Adam, you've made a tremendous, tremendous effort to be in contact with your shareholders. Uh, it used to be 80% institutional. Now it's 20% institutional. You've got 80% so-called retail. Can you talk about how that may be a new paradigm and that there are other CEOs? I know you're going to say, I don't care about the other CEOs. Give me a break. Uh, that other CEOs should embrace what you're doing because it's actually been a new form of capitalism. Well, look, you're nice to say that, Jim. And look, I can only tell you this. Somebody I greatly respect runs a half a trillion dollar private equity firm. Told me a year ago, when, uh, almost a year ago, when we realized that retail investors had taken over AMC, that I was leading a company that is on the forefront of the democratization of Wall Street. And company executives have always talked to our shareholders. But we were used to talking to our shareholders the old way because we were talking to institutions. So we had quarterly earnings calls and we did non deal roadshows and we, we talked to securities analysts. Well, in July, we announced that we had 4 million shareholders at AMC. And so we instantly decided since companies always talk to their shareholders, we needed to continue to talk to our shareholders. Where do you talk to 4 million retail investors? On Twitter. And I've tweeted an average of 20 to 25 times a month now since April, my tweets have been read something like 170 million times since April. Uh, I'm following 2,500 people, which, a lot, which gives me literally hundreds if not thousands of inbound messages a day, a lot of which I read every single day. So there's real two-way communication between AMC and our company's owners as they're properly should. We set up a program for them in June called AMC Investor Connect, and we gave them goodies like free popcorn. But we also are giving them direct access to the C-suite, 
We're communicating with them by email every several weeks. And look, I do think this is going to be, we're, we're certainly leading the way here, but, and it's uncharted territory, but there aren't a lot of CEOs who have practiced tweeting almost a daily basis. But I do think this is very much a wave of the future here. And again, I think that AMC is leading the way. Well, thank you, Adam Aaron. Uh, I do believe that what you've done is, I'm going to point blanks, save the company. Uh, I think that a lot of people felt that the company would go bankrupt. I think you rallied people around it, and I want to congratulate you. Uh, David knows how I feel about that. Adam Aaron, job well done for your AMC shareholders. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Jim, David, and 7 million people in AMC theaters this weekend. 7 million. It's a lot of people. We absolutely know that. All right, Jim's going to stay.